Att finska rockbandet Him har många svenska fans märker man snabbt på Hultsfred. Vi lät festivalbesökarna ställa sina frågor till sångaren Ville Wallo. Hejsan, hejsan. Jag heter Gunvor och jag är på Hultsfred. Jag tänkte kolla lite, för när jag hör Him då tänker jag att folk som lyssnar på det mår väldigt dåligt. Och jag tänkte kolla lite vad Ville Wallo tycker om det. Well, let's say that... Uh... To be honest with you, there shouldn't be too many happy people around looking how the world, you know, how things happen in the world nowadays. You, everybody should have a bit of sadness, you know, otherwise you're being prescribed too much Prozac. Hey, are you nice with your hair, I wonder? Happy with my hair? Uh, not really. But, uh, is, this, is that why you wear a hat? No, the hat thing, you know, what, uh, what do you call it, like a security blanket. This was thrown, the purple hat was thrown on stage uh, in Glasgow, in Scotland. And that was last December. I didn't wash it and I've been wearing it ever since. Some of the girls seem to throw bras or undies on stage, but we're men so we can't really use them. You never wear them? No, we, we did once. But, you know, it feels funny in your, in your crack when you're wearing a thong. So it, it's not my cup of tea. So they shouldn't bother. Well, you know, throw some boxes and socks. Socks are good, you know. Hey, jag undrar hur många barn har Ville Wallo? Children, metaphysically or physically? No, I don't have any children. You sure? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, nobody's been knocking on my door, and uh, I haven't been fucking around a lot. So, uh, uh, and I try to be whenever. A romantic episode should occur. I try to take all the precautions, you know, if that if if it's not the plan of uh, working on getting a baby. Do you want to have a baby? Uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, one day. I'm, you know, I'm 31 now, so I got got a bit of time. And unfortunately, I'm not in a relationship that at this moment. And uh, it, it's kind of tough being in a band, you know. It's a lot of traveling and. And it wouldn't feel necessarily right for the mom to have to stay within four walls and take care of the little toddler while while I'm here listening to the hives. You know. Hey, Ville. When I interviewed you last year, you said that you stopped drinking and went into rehab. How is it going with spirit? Oh, well, I still haven't touched the bottle. So it's been, well, a year and a month or something like that. I have. What's that like? Um, it's ridiculously boring. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. My social life is nil. I don't go out at all. I'm very lonely. Solitary man sitting in my house in Helsinki playing the acoustic guitar and trying to write some happy songs. <laughs> it's a terrible existence. So keep on drinking.